We think sales is tough. And we are sick of clients saying, no, we want to quit. When you consider this story of Toshia Kakeuchi, you will realize you have nothing to complain about. Welcome back to this weekly edition every Friday of the Japan Business Mastery Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, president of Dale Carnegie Training Japan and best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery and Japan Business Mastery. My new book, Japan Presentations Mastery, will be released soon. We are bringing the show to you from our studio in the High Performance Center in Akasaka in Minatoku, the business center of Tokyo. This is episode number 82, and we are talking about people harden up. Before we get going, a quick word from our sponsor. If you want to sell more and do it more easily, do the Winning with Relationship Selling course. If you can't build trust, no sale. Can't design excellent questions to understand the client's needs? No sale. Can't present the solution convincingly? No sale. Can't handle objections properly? No sale. Can't close? No sale. Master the sales process by doing the winning with relationship selling course now in either Japanese or English. The best seller Japan Sales Mastery is the new Bible of selling in Japan. To sell to Japanese buyers, you need to create long-term partner-level trust, fully understand Japanese buyers' real needs, convince buyers with your solutions, overcome their hesitation, fear, and doubt, know how to ask for the order, ensure repeat orders. This book is the product of 30 plus years in the trenches selling in Japan. Order Japan Sales Mastery now. Welcome back. Okay, now it is time for the show. So let's get going. Salespeople are world-class whiners and whingers. They're the most creative group amongst all professions for coming up with excuses about why they can't meet their targets. Salespeople everywhere are delicate blossoms. They get a rocket from their boss about their poor results and try to call, cold call potential clients over the phone. They get total irreversible rejection and quit phoning after the third call. There is a variety of cold calling which is even more debilitating and that is known as tobikomi ego. The tobikomi ego salesperson is someone who just drops by unannounced and devoid of any appointment, always unceremoniously shown the door. Imagine if you were so short that the receptionist can't even see you unless she stands up and peers well over the counter, or that the typical unmanned reception phone and organizational chart are at such a height and depth that you can't even use them. This presumes you can even get into the building in the first place. Toshia Kakuchi was born with a bone crippling disease, very brittle bone crippling disease that confined him to a wheelchair. He applied for jobs, found the going tough, but then one day a firm which built websites accepted him as a staff member, as an employee. His boss told him to head off to the sales department. You have to get out there and cold call officers door to door, Tommy Comey egg your style, looking for companies who need a website. Seated in his wheelchair, he was only 106 centimeters tall, found that most buildings were difficult to access because of vertiginous stairs. 
His sales comrades were seeing 40 or 50 companies a day, and he was only seeing five, if he was lucky. Yet, in a short space of time, he became the top salesperson in that company. I asked him how he managed it. With only a limited number of calls he could make in a day, he had to really make every post a winner. He found a way to turn his disadvantage into an advantage. Kakarich san was definitely memorable, distinct, differentiated. You are not going to forget him turning up to your office. So, for all those able-bodied salespeople out there whining in their suds about how tough sales is, stop it right now. You have nothing to complain about. Kakarich san found a way by differentiating himself, by having grit and stickability to keep going despite being constantly rejected. He was physically weak, but mentally tough. How about you? I hope you enjoyed today's show. And so please subscribe on YouTube. Share with your family, friends, and colleagues. Become a regular. Our website details are on screen now, enjapan.com. DaleCunny.com. It's awesome value, so please check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible, so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, we are releasing content six days a week for podcasts, Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentations Japan Series, and every second Tuesday for the Business Touches You Know Us Year Show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan Series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan Series, every second Thursday for the Business Pro Podcast Show, Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews, wherever you get your podcast. Also, every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Television Show. Every Friday, the Japan Business Mastery Show, and every Saturday, Japan's top business interviews on YouTube. We appreciate your support. Please let others know about it so they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people build their careers and businesses. And please join us in that endeavor. In episode number 83, we are talking about how to own your audience. Onigai tashimasu. Please join me next week to master business here because that is what we all want, isn't it? Japan business mastery.